this is the life. Welcome to the Totally Awesome Garden Tips. Now, you couldn't ask for much more than this. Beautiful English countryside, and listen to that. Peace and quiet, tranquility, and an English garden. Lovely, except, as all gardeners know, it doesn't often stay like that, does it? Good gardening needs work all the time, constant attention, and one of those jobs that are tough, fence staining. Now, staining a wooden fence, you wouldn't think, it's rocket science, but there's a couple of tips really that you need to know about it. Now you can buy a stain preservative which preserves the wood. It's like a sort of varnish stain if you like. But if you've got a big fence in, I've got quite a lot of fence in, that's a really expensive way to do it. So what you use is a sort of water-based colour. You've probably seen them in your uh, like DIY stores. They're wood colouring. They don't really preserve their wood colouring. Obviously, once a year, it's nice to do it all over your garden, smart it all up. But here, in what we would call the maritime climate of the British Isles, we don't often get the current bun, the sun. We don't get it very often, do we? It's lovely when it comes, but we don't get it. Now, if you've got, like the wood I've got behind me, you can stain straight over the top of this, and it's what my old granddad used to say, that wood's hungry, boy. That means it's dried out, and anything you put on it will soak up, and that will probably take two coats. Now, that's okay. Give it two coats, no problem. But... A lot of gardens, because we have such a damp climate here in the UK, you're going to get that green mould all over them. Now, some of the fence panels I've got, I don't know, 150 panels around here. Some of those panels are in the shade, they're in the damp, they're north, you know, north facing. They're in that corner that really draws the green algae, like a disease grows all over the fence. Now, I've done it so I know that if you stain all over that green fence, it doesn't really take well because the sort of, I guess it's like the fungus or the algae is living, it soaks up the water-based wood colouring dye, if we call it a dye or colouring. It soaks it up, so it soaks it right in, and you know what, you can do it three or four times and that soaking in business still draws in. Now I've gone through the procedure of getting a wire brush and wire brushing a lot of fence off and that is hard work, time consuming, a lot of elbow grease. But I've found a totally awesome gardening tip that's easier. You just get some ordinary bleach. Now there's two types of bleach here in the UK I'm speaking of, the UK. You can get thin bleach or you can get, I call it thick bleach. It's called thick bleach, which you put down toilets, right? If you dilute the thick bleach in a bucket of water, you need a bit, just, um, I don't know, 10 to one, something like that, about 10 to one. You can put this on and you paint it all on, let it dry, man, it kills that green algae. When it kills a green algae, you can go straight over the top with your wood colouring and it goes on one time and looks absolutely perfect. I'll go and show you what I mean. Let's have a look at it now. Now here's a classic case. This one is south facing this old potting shed and you can see there that the sun has actually bleached out last year's stain. So it's lasted a year, the wood's fine, but that's easy to restain. But the stuff I've got around here, you'll see the green mould on it and that's the problem. There's a short section that I've done, just three panels, and I've actually stained this with a brown, a dark brown stain. Now look how the algae has actually soaked up the dye and it hasn't come out thick. So how am I gonna get around that? The totally awesome garden tip is this. Now I'm just using regular bleach here. This is thick bleach. They don't sponsor me, so I'll put my finger across the makers. There you are. Citrus bleach, but it's thick, thick bleach there. And all we're going to do is put that into the water. Let's say 10 to 1, just give it a good old dollop in there. Empty that out. And then apply it. You can either use a paintbrush or a dustpan type brush. But before that, you need to know a couple of other pointers. Now you can apply it with either a dustpan type brush with a handle, or you can just use a regular wire. It's about a four inch emulsion brush. But when you put it on, don't forget, it is watered down bleach. Bleach will, it bleach, it's in the word, B-L-E-A-C-H, it bleaches. If you've got clothing on and you get flicks on it, it's going to stain your clothing. Wear clothing you could afford to get dirty or put some overalls on. More important being bleach based, get yourself a pair of goggles. In my case, I don't because I have glasses. If I put the glasses and the goggles on, I see nothing. Anybody else? Health and safety, wear goggles and put a pair of gloves on. Uh, you, you just basically you don't want to get the bleach on you. It's not life-threatening unless you drink it, I suppose. But don't drink it. Please don't drink it.
pair of gloves, bleach, and put it up like this. Dead easy. I've got my safety glasses on. Start at the top and work down. And do it very slow brush strokes like this over that green algae. You do not want to get it flicking. You do it everything slowly and work down. Keep the brush angle down as well so any loose bits go down and drop that way. Do not paint over the top of your up high. Stand on something and that way you won't get it flicked in your face. Do it very, very slowly and be careful. So give it a good coat in the bleach like this and being watered down, it soaks in as well and it kills that algae. Give it about four hours and then go back to it and you find this happens. Now hopefully you can see this is a green algae covered fencing and here is the bit I put the bleach on. Wowee, that is absolutely dried out. Now look at the demarcation line here. You can see totally the difference between where I brought the brush down there, there's the algae covered fence and there is the bleach fence. This now is all ready to take the stain, make it easier in your garden, do this job properly, do it once, don't go like this side where it goes patchy and have to do it twice, do it this way, kill all that algae, all this green off the mould and then start with a nice clean fence and this is what it looks, looks like when you've finished it. Okay, I'm going to be using the emulsion brush I call it here. Don't wear your nice fishing polo shirt like an idiot like I'm doing just for this because it's nice in the camera. Don't wear anything nice at all. Don't wear anything that your wife wouldn't want to see dots all over it. Right, this is what the colour will look like once I've got it on. And it is a wood colouring and you can whiz over it. You don't do it too fast so it flicks. But you can see, I'm going to show you here, it soaks up nicely. It's not the algae and the green mould that's soaking up that stain. It's actually the wood of the fence. And when you finish it, it looks really smart. It's easy to do. In all gardening, you want to make life easy, don't you? Let's face it. We all want to spend time sitting, looking at the garden, the flowers. And what time do we get? One hour, if you're lucky. The other 24 doing weeding, digging, worrying, cutting, hacking. And of course, staining. There we go. I'll just finish that one for you. Do one more panel. And this is, as I say, it's a colouring, it's not, not a varnish. So it soaks up, and I reckon once a year, it does help preserve it a bit, anything that's got some waterproof in it will keep the weather off and keep the mould off. If you can't, if you've got fences in damp places, you are going to get that green mould. Right, this goes off in about four hours. If you've got what we used to call my grandfather said hungry wood, where it's been south facing, and the sun's bleached it all out, you might need two coats. It's about four hours on the ordinary, you know, a nice, a nice sunny day in England. Well, that's a rarity. You'd never get it done again, would you? About four hours between coats. I'll give it a second coat. But as you can see there, one coat's done this fence. That's what I call a totally awesome garden tip. But there's another one might just help you before you pack up. When you're finished, being water-based, not a stain, which you'd need uh, spirit to clean off. It's water-based. You can just wash it. In, well, warm soapy water, it doesn't even have to be warm. Wash your brushes out. Now, what a lot of people do when they wash your brushes out is rinse them and then they just leave them. They just leave them sitting somewhere like that, you know. Now, if you leave them like this, the water runs down in here and rusts it all out the handle, okay? If you leave it like this, you get a residue of paint, stain, or whatever you've got there along the edge here. It sets and then you get an absolutely awful finish. So, when you've washed it out, just take my tip and leave that damp and wet, wrap them up in a plastic bag like this and they'll be ready and soft and damp for the next session of, yes, fence staining, hopefully not for a year. Thanks for watching the Totally Awesome Garden Tips and next time you get sun like this in England, don't go fence staining, go in the garden and enjoy it. See you next time.